back to English online class. So children, in today's class we will discuss writing part of the lesson, a visit to grandfather. So let's begin today's class. All of you open your English textbook and open page number 34. Look at this picture and complete these sentences. So children, look at the picture children. So we have to complete these sentences with the help of this picture. So first sentence is the red light is on. Some cars are waiting at the traffic light. I can see a big dash at the traffic light. So children, first sentence is given as example. So what you can see in the picture children? A big lorry. So here they have written lorry. Like this we have to complete further sentences. Second one. There is a red car and a green dash on the road. So look at the picture children. What you can see in the picture? There is a red car and a green bus on the road. So write bus in the blank. I can see a man on a blue dash. So look at the picture children. What you can see in the picture? A man on a blue scooter. So Right, scooter in the blank. I can see two dash. So, what you can see in the picture children? Very good. You can see two people. I can see the dash. He holds up his hand to stop the traffic. So, what you can see in the picture children? Very good. A policeman, he holds up his hand to stop the traffic. Okay children, now let us solve this exercise on the board. So, look at the board children. So, first one is given as example. The red light is on. Some cars are waiting at the traffic light. I can see a big lorry at the traffic light. There is a red car and a green dash on the road. So what you can see in the picture children? You can see a red car and a green bus. So right bus in the plan. B U S bus. I can see a man on a blue 
so what you can see in the picture children you can see the police he holds up his hand to stop the traffic so right police in the blank p o l i c e police see children one more time i will repeat it the red light is on some cars some cars are waiting at the traffic light i can see a big lorry at the traffic light there is a red car and a green bus on the road i can see a man on a blue scooter i can see two people i can see the police he holds up his hand to stop the traffic okay children now let us move towards the next exercise that is life skills grandpa has a garden behind his house take the actions that are good for nature cross the actions that are not good so children we have to put tick to the actions which are good for nature and we have to put cross the actions which are not good for nature so look at the first picture children what you can see in the first picture very good a boy is watering the plants so first sentence they have given here water the trees and plants so tell me children is it good action for the nature yes it is a good action for the nature so put take to the sentence second sentence so what do you can see in the second picture children very good a boy is throwing waste in the garden so here they have given sentence throw litter in the garden so tell me children is it good action for the nature very good it is not good for the nature so we should not throw wastage in the garden so put cross to the sentence turn the page and open page number 36 so what you can see in the third picture children very good a girl is planting a plant so what they have given here plant trees so tell me children is it good for nature yes it is so we should plant trees so put tick to the sentence fourth one what you can see in the fourth picture children yes very good a man is cutting the tree so is it good action for the nature children very good it is not a good action so put cross so what here they given cut down trees so it is not good action so put cross to the sentence so children nature teaches us nature protect us and it gives us joy so we must always appreciate and 
we should respect the nature we should not do such things or action that are not good for nature okay children here we complete the lesson a visit to grandfather so now let us move towards today's homework part and today's homework is read and write today's class work one time and also complete this exercise in your textbook okay children